All hands remain clear from starboard side hatches, weather decks, and sponsors, while alongside USNS Leeward Grumman. The aircraft carrier USS Gerald R. Ford and the naval supply ship USNS Leroy Grumman conducted day and night dry run replenishment at sea evolutions as a proof of concept for the first in class vessel during Ford's current independent steamy exercise 6 on June 4th and 5th. The evolution marked the first time Ford successfully completed a nighttime underway replenishment. We proved that we can do it, we proved that the system works. Uh, there's some fine tuning that need to be done on the systems, but we have proved that the ship, the installation, everything is good to go. We can move forward on oh, now fine tuning and, and focus on other areas that need to be focused on. Sailors assigned to Ford's deck department prepared tools and equipment for the evolution to ensure every necessary preparation was taken. Safety is paramount on an unwrap station. It is an inherently dangerous evolution. No matter how good you are, no matter how experienced and how safe you are, something could go wrong that you have no control over. Replenishment at sea evolutions required two ships to coordinate through line of sight, radio, and measured lines held by sailors in order to help maintain a separation of approximately 180 feet, all while navigating through the open ocean. Personally, man, it's one of my highest points in this command, just to watch my sailors, you know, click last night the way they did. It's been a long time coming, man. They, they really impressed me last night. I don't, say, I, don't, I don't throw that word out very often, man, but my, my entire department and my sailors impressed me last night. With, with how they ex uh, executed that evolution. It was phenomenal. Uh, all the training, all the preparation, everything that went into it, all the brand new sailors that have never done an unrep, let alone a night unrep, and it came together. Uh, it was one of the best experiences I've had in the Navy and on this ship. Ford is underway conducting test and evaluation operations before returning to Norfolk, Virginia to prepare for a post-shakedown availability period later this summer.